Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am Ken Eels Photographer for Rail and Roof. Today is Wednesday, February the 12th, 2014 AD. See, I got it right. I didn't say 2013. I said 2014 because it is 2014. I'm getting to the point where I'm almost over saying 2013. Because you say it for a year and it's like it's stuck in your brain. So it takes a little while to get that 2013 out and put the 2014 in. Anyway, having said that, the Olympics are going on in Russia, somewhere deep in the heart of Russia. Anyway, um, I finished off my breakfast cereal. Um, even though it's a little afternoon. Um, today I want to talk to you about the new release of, like, Canada, had, or the new camera that Canada had released. And some other things as well, but in this video I want to talk about the EOS Rebel T5 18-55 IS2 kit. Or, more importantly, the T5. Um, which is right there in the center of the video. And we're going to click on it and go from there. Oh, before we before I click on it, let's talk about the basics. 18.0 megapixels, CMOS, APS-C, image sensor, digit 4, uh, processor, EOS uh, Full HD, which is 1080p, scene intelligent auto mode, um, feature guide offers short descriptions of shooting mode, which is cool. So let's, let's get into the, the meat of it, if you will. Here, we'll click on this. Woo, it's kind of pretty. <laughs> okay. Uh, the EOS Rebel T5. Now, this is obviously showing the 18 to 55 uh, IS2 kit. Uh, but I'll bet you you can go out there and get you a, uh, a setup without that lens. Uh, but if you don't have any other lenses, this would be a great place to start with this camera and kit. So let's, let's go over what we got here. Uh, let's see. First of all, it looks neat. That looks pretty neat. Let's talk about some of the features. So that's, what, that's what everybody wants to know about. It's the features. What are the features? Okay. Features are 18.0 megapixels. Uh, Digit 4 processor. Now, there's only one processor. A lot of Canon's professional uh, cameras now have two processors. Um, plus, it's a Digit 5 processor. Um, so, this only has one, and it's, only, and it's Digit 4. So, it's not as fast as a Pro, but still pretty good. Full HD 1080p, obviously, so that's good. Um, it's not 4K, <coughs> but for this price, for the price point of, let's go back up a little bit. Actually, that's not too bad at all. 549, 550. That's not really not a bad price at all, especially when you consider it comes with the lens. So 549 for 550 bucks plus shipping and tax. Uh, let's talk, ISO goes up to 6400. Three frames per second, which is what I have on my Digital Rebel XT right now. So not really a boost uh, as far as frames per second. Uh, four, three wide ratios, uh, three inch screen, um, or 7.5 centimeters, but basically three inch LCD. Nine point autofocus, which is, uh, let's see, what three? I've got a five point autofocus in my Digital Rebel XT. This has a nine point, so it's... Not anywhere near the professional end, but it's better than what I've got now. Uh, dual layer metering. Live view mode, which is nice. Uh, scene intelligent auto. EOS movie mode. Full HD. We've already talked about that. Creative filter mode. Aspect ratio. Function, excuse me. This is something I really like. Uh, whether you want to make it a, a perfect square or a TV square or a 16 by 9 square. Now, what I mean by a square is either it's, you know, like one by one or the TV uh, has a ratio of what, three, three by four or whether you want to go widescreen like a motion picture or YouTube or like that with a 16 by 9. So you have a choice of format, which is really neat in my opinion. Um, one of these days they're going to come out with a thing where you don't have to turn it when you have it you know, you don't have to, you don't have to uh, switch the, uh, you don't have to physically turn the camera. You can push a button and it'll switch it automatically from 16 by 9 right to left to 16 by 9 up and down. So, eventually, I, in my opinion, eventually they're going to come out with a camera that does that. Instead of having to physically turn the camera, you can just push a button and the, it'll go from horizontal to vertical. So, I think, I think that will be coming eventually, but since they have this aspect ratio. That's another story. Okay, feature guide, which is nice. Picture style, yeah, you have pick bridge, yeah, it has all the standard stuff where you can communicate with your printers and blah blah blah. SDXC, HDMI, print or direct print, EOS system accessories, of course you can use your accessories. 
basic functions, you can image gateway, lenses, EFS lenses. So it has two kinds of lenses you can use. Um, the EF lenses, there's literally hundreds of those to choose from. Uh, video snapshot. Um, so basically, you got a lot of really neat little features here. And a camera that's actually not that expensive, especially considering it's only uh, $549. That's really not a bad price. I mean, for for, for 18 megapixels, 1080p, um, that's really not that bad. Now, granted, it's only three frames per second, so it's not. So for me, it wouldn't be really a kick uh, boost in frames. But for 18 megapixels in full HD, that's not too bad. Um, so, plus, like I said, it comes with a lens. So, is this the right camera for you? I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Maybe it's too much, maybe it's not enough. Uh, you know, maybe it's too heavy, maybe it's too light. I don't know. I mean, very few cameras I hear about complain. People complain about it's too light, but, um, you know, is it enough camera? Is it too much camera? Um, I don't know. Depends what, you, depends what you need. So my point in making this video, uh, other than just having to kill some time, <laughs> is, um, I want to get the information out there of what this camera is, what it can do, and hopefully it will help you in deciding if you're looking for a new camera, or one for somebody else, or a friend, you know, friend, family member, whatever, um, to give you the information, to say, here's, here's what it can do, and maybe this is the camera for you, maybe it isn't, but here's the information, and I'm, I'm glad to give you the information, and yeah, here it is right here, and, uh, and like I said, for $549, right there's a price, $549, that's a really good deal, it really is, um, so, that's all I have for now. So until next time, uh, I'm Ken Neal Sardarfer, Rally Move, saying thanks for watching. Have a good day, God bless, and as always, keep taking those pictures. Bye.